TotalCMS 1.2 and the blog? Can you say party? Party! Hey everybody, Joe Workman here, and as you see, we are really excited about Total CMS 1.2 and Total Blog. It really changes the face of how we use Rapid Weaver on our everyday lives, right? We're no longer constrained to Rapid Weaver for blogging or some third party solution that we have to try to figure out how to integrate in, right? We have a full blown integrated blogging solution with powered by a full blown powerful CMS behind it right? That's fully customizable and fully integrated directly into Rapid Weaver. So this Total CMS 1.2 update has been in the works for a very long time, right? It's been about eight months since we released Total CMS and version 1.2 is essentially kind of like version 2.0. This version not only brings some definite power improvements and bug fixes and new features to the existing CMS, but it brings an entirely new suite of stacks to build your own blog directly into the CMS. This is really amazing, and I can't wait to show you everything that we have. So without further ado, let's jump into Rapid Weaver and see all the amazing new features that we have in Total CMS 1.2. Now here we are on the CMS for Rapid Weaver website. And if we go and check out the demos, they've been updated to use Total CMS 1.2. As we see in the soccer demo, if we scroll down, we'll see that we now have a recent games section, which is powered by our new blog. And as you see, we have a beautiful card layout and we can view the individual match details or a blog post. So in the sidebar here, we have related matches, which is related blog posts. As you see, we have the ability to fully customize the layout of our blog post pages, just as we could with a normal stacks page. And every single blog post comes with a built-in gallery, so you can include as many images as you want inside each and every blog post. If we head over to the blog on the general demo, you'll see that in the sidebar we have beautiful blog search abilities, as well as the ability to filter through our blogs based on tags, authors, and categories. Now if we dive into Rapid Weaver, you'll see that there is a new CMS core stack, now this is a key new feature in Total CMS 1.2. This will replace what we were using the text stack for previously, where you'd have to add that page in order to use macros. Now the CMS core stack takes care of all of the macro processing for us. And it should be added to every single web page that you wanna use Total CMS on. Now, as you notice inside the CMS core stack, there are also a lot of new macros that we can leverage. There's also a new syntax. And this syntax allows us to actually get more detailed and more in-depth macros while also providing us faster and more reliable text processing. Now, if you are using the old macro syntax, it will continue to function. However, I encourage you to migrate all of your macros to use this new syntax because you'll see drastic performance increases. Now the CMS tech stack still exists. However, its sole responsibility now is for inserting text that is stored into the CMS onto your web pages. There are also three new blog content stacks for the blog filtering, blog list, and blog post. And I recommend that you check out our blog overview video that we've already posted. And it goes pretty much into depth on how you can implement blog and all of its amazing features. 
The new date admin stack allows users to use a date picker to select the exact date and potentially time as well. And then that could be integrated with stacks on your web page. For instance, our TARDIS stack is already integrated with Total CMS dates, which allows your users to control the times at which content can be displayed or hidden on their web pages. Now keep a lookout for other great new stacks in the future that will integrate with the new date feature in Total CMS. And the last admin stack that is new here is the debug stack. And this stack allows you to basically debug and help you give some debug information on your Total CMS instances. Now when you add the debug stack to your page, a server check stack is automatically added to the page for you. And this will actually display actual tests that are ran on your server for potential issues that could happen with Total CMS. Now this debug information will only show in preview and will never get published. However, you can also add a CMS log information. And this will add actual log data from your Total CMS instance on the server. Now this particular CMS log stack can be published and it could be useful if you wanted to display this information for your end users. Now, before we go, I wanna review one hidden but extremely powerful feature of Total CMS 1.2, and that's its amazing integration APIs that we provided for third-party stack developers. If you go to the integrations page on their CMS for Rapid Weaver website, you'll scroll down and see some amazing third-party stacks that have been integrated directly into Total CMS. As you see here, we have some amazing third-party stacks to integrate with images, galleries, text integration. We have some great integrations with depots for the playlister stacks. And then we have date integration that we mentioned earlier with TARDIS. We also have, we also have some amazing project and theme integrations that really show the power of Total CMS and what it can do for your websites. And if we scroll down, we can see some of the great general integrations that can be done with any third-party stack using the powerful CMS macros that we saw earlier. And I'm really excited to see more third-party stacks come available with even more powerful integrations with Total CMS. And there you have it. I really only touched base a little bit on what Total CMS 1.2 has, right? There are a slew of more minor bug fixes and feature enhancements to the existing stacks as well but blog and some of the other new stacks are really the, the meat behind this update. And I wanted to just give you a quick overview of what this update entailed. Now, obviously blog is huge and there are multiple videos already done just on blog itself. Now, also remember that you're gonna wanna make sure on existing Total CMS installs that when you migrate to Total CMS 1.2, this update, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you add the CMS core stack to every single page that displays CMS content. This will contain all of the external libraries all in one place. So thank you very much for being a user of Total CMS. I hope that it's making you and helping you build greater, more powerful websites. And now with blog, you have full control over generating a lot of content for your websites. So go forth and make your websites great. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye.